we've heard from so many uh, millennials uh, across the country. What can we do to restore their faith uh, in their government? We need the rules, but we also need power. We need to figure out a way to get Americans out of the bleachers and onto the field of their own democracy. And that's what small donor matching systems of public financing are all about. See, you know, this, the rise of super PACs and this whole question of coordination, particularly in the presidential campaigns, and it's a real problem. And so uh, we've put forward a bill that's called the Restoring Integrity to America's Elections Act. And very simply, it tries to put teeth back into the Federal Elections Commission. One of the young people that we met uh, talked about the fact that they had missed one election cycle and they went to go and vote and they found out that their uh, that they had been suspended from the voter file, that they had been actually purged. I remember uh, that woman. From, How did she feel about that? No, oh, yeah, it, it was very discouraging for her. It makes it uh, seem as if the system is rigged against her. Uh, and, uh, and she just she didn't understand why that happened. Well, in the Virgin Islands, we are facing an even greater uh, constitutional issue that we are bringing court cases to the United States about. Because many years ago, Congress decided that the right to vote uh, was not a fundamental right for people that were living in the territories. Not one of um, our colleagues enjoy fundraising. But in my view, there's only one party who is willing to do something about it. Pass the Disclose Act. Support campaign finance reform. Demand transparency. And the only way we're going to take this government back and make America great again is to engage voters across the spectrum by lowering the barriers that exist in this place.